This site is in East Ayrshire, not far from Fort Acres or Forty Acres Farm. In May 1848, one of Ayrshire's most horrific murders took place almost precisely at this spot. In the distance is Rickerton and Marnock. Over here we have Cross House, Gatehead. Just over the rise here is Fort Acres Farm. And nearby also, we have Dundonald and Symington. Now in 1848, James Young walked from Fort Acres to visit his parents at Now Head, which is in Rickerton. The site still survives. It was Dud's Day. Originally Dud's Day was a single fair, but later became to be two fairs one in the spring and one in the autumn. At these fairs, the farm labourers and others were paid for their six month service, could be either rehired or hired by a different employer. After spending the day with his parents, he left in the mid to late evening, walked back along this road where he had the misfortune to meet James McWhelan, an Irish labourer. James had, had a very hard life, very short of cash, and for whatever reason he took the terrible step of committing murder. He hit James over the head with a stone, then stabbed him in the neck with a chisel. When James's body was found about 4 a.m. in the morning, poor soul had soil grasped in his hands in the pains of death. A pink handkerchief was found at the site and it was also noted that James's silver watch and 15 shillings in cash had been taken. Now Dud's Day was the day not just when people were hired rehired. It's also the day when people would go and spend some of their money to buy clothes, hence the duds part, the dudes. It was noted that Irish labourer James McWhelan had suddenly left the area. And the next step in the story was that a farmer riding near Paisley and Beath Notice a suspicious person coming out of an old toll coming out of a toll house, and it was discovered that a sum of, of many pounds and a silver watch again had been stolen from this toll house. The farmer, upon discovering the about the murder and of this theft of the toll house, turned round on his horse and eventually caught up with James McWhelan. It turned out that James McWhelan had been in Beeth and had, through a, a friend, had pawned a silver watch. And upon being searched, he had a considerable sum of money on him and another silver watch. He was also known to have possessed a pink handkerchief. He was brought back to Kilmarnock and then taken down later for judgment in air. He was found guilty and hung. He never properly admitted his part in the murder, but one sad reflection upon the times was that at the end he spent over 15 minutes praying, having taken Christianity at the last moment, the last few days before the sentence was to be carried out. Now the provost, tiring of this constant praying, instructed the hangman to pull the lever and James McWhelan was hung. This is Fort Acres Farm where James Young had worked. Mr. Smith was a farmer. 
just to the left, there used to be a toll house and a toll gate here. About 4 a.m. in the morning when James Young's body was discovered, the two people who found him came down here and sought the assistance of Mr. Smith, the farmer, and of the, the toll keeper. One nice sign of respect for this terrible murder was that passers-by walking along this road would carry with them a stone and after a period of time a sizable can developed here in memory of James Young and of his sad demise the age of either 16 or 18 the, the sources are not consistent sadly the can no longer appears to be visible <laughs>